Hello, Central Illinois. Busy night of high school sports. We'll start with softball powers clashing at Eastside Center. East Peoria hosting Illini Bluffs on their brand new carpet. Looks nice there. Uh, Gabby Lane's going to drive one to the gap right here, and that'll score a sliding Sydney Sawyer. The super sophomores for East Peoria put a point on the board here. But boy, Illini Bluffs brought their bats. Zoe Eaton, nice piece of hitting, goes the opposite way to score. Chloe Eaton, Zoe scores Chloe. Then Lexi Brinkman slices one to right field just out of the reach of the outfielder. That'll score two more. IB gets a big road win today, 9-7. Tigers. Pontiac hosting Limestone, just like Illini Bluffs. Pontiac made it to the state finals a year ago. Aniston Connor with a hot shot, but a great catch by Cadence Helms over there at third base. Liz Gruby's going to dump one, a little check swing double for Gruby with a good hustle for Limestone, but Pontiac's Michaela Metz was dynamite in the circle. Pontiac wins it by a final score of three zip. Let's head to Metamora, where Metamora is hosting Mount Zion. First inning, Bree Bessert with a little uh, line drive and then some good base running. She avoids the tag. She's safe at first, and that scores Lauren Riddle with the first run of the game. Nora Johnson was terrific. Seven innings, four strikeouts, and she got a little help from her defense. What can't Katie Ramage do? She hit for the cycle last week, and she goes and gets it in center field. Metamore is a winner, 7-1. to one. Let's head to baseball right now. We'll start at Washington. The Panthers hosting LaSalle, Peru. Elliot Seckman hit a homer for Washington yesterday. He lines a base hit right here to start a Panther rally. Lucas Price is going to come up with a big two-out RBI base hit. Price takes it right back up the middle. That'll drive in Seckman. Price went two for three on the day. Braden Vanderheight, six shutout innings. Washington, a win. Tremont hosting Peoria in Notre Dame. Blaine Williams with a nice piece of hitting right here, we'll drive in Ethan Zangay with the run right here for Tremont. Then TJ Connor with the bases loaded is going to score both Andrew Dawson and Williams with a line drive to center. Tremont scores a bunch late and wins it by a final score of 7 to 1. A remarkable pitcher's duel at Dozer Park. DMAC and Delavan for Delavan, Alex Seaton. Seven innings, 11 strikeouts. He was dynamite. For DMAC, Andrew Spurlock pitched six innings, had 12 strikeouts. No score into the eighth inning. Spurlock gets on base, advances to third, and then Chuck Hathaway hits one out of the yard. Well, not really, but he can tell his kids he got the only RBI of the game. A little blooper drops in. That scores Spurlock, and DMAC wins it one zip in eight innings. Well played game. Normal U high all over Springfield Lanfear at Duffy Bass Field tonight. Charlie Veracruz, one of the better players in Central Illinois, is going to rock that one all the way to the wall. And Veracruz will cruise into third with a triple. Cameron Clifton, I think he took notes on that little blue pit. He's going to hit a very similar blue pit right here. That'll score Will Paxson. Meanwhile, on the bump, Ty Sorensen was terrific. U high rolls 15 to nothing. Normal U High and Normal West playing a great soccer match today. U High freshman Aubrey Bellata with the shot, but check out the save by Evelyn Rachel. Wow. Normal West thinks they have a goal. Maddie Funk the shot, but Grace Gretkin the save for U High. Looked like a scoreless game, but six minutes left. Mia Hefner slots the ball to Sophie Lambert for the one-timer. Sophie finds the net. West gets the win. One zip West. Well, today was the funeral for Dunlap's Tessa Sutton, a beautiful celebration of life for a beautiful life. Attendees today saw a video and heard stories of Tessa's first varsity goal as a Dunlap Eagle, this fearless attack and finish on a corner kick. Tessa's classmate and teammate Abby Gleason gave a wonderful eulogy. So too did Dunlap coach Peter Senek and Peoria Notre Dame coach and Tessa's travel coach Mike Baer. The Central Illinois wide spirit of Team Tessa was a big theme today. It's wonderful. And, you know, um, there's a lot of people that haven't even met her and, and that are um, rallying around her. Uh, it means so much, you know, to, to, you know, her parents and her family. And they feel that support from everybody. I know Tessa and her family feels that support, too. Jim Dandy time. Let's hear it for the coaches, the baseball coaches. All right. All right. Let's, let's, let's. Practice what you preach, huh? Josh Hofer of Ivy. Oh, nice play by Josh Hofer at third base. Washington's Kyle Wisher right here, making it look easy for the Panthers. The Oh, look at that. Wisher's got those great hands. And Eureka's Dane Ware making the play and the throw. The coach is doing it. Tonight's Jim Dandy.